Hi, today I'm going to explain a pivoting attack. I'm preparing an attack against a Windows 7 virtual machine, which is multi-home, having a bridge connection to Kali and an internal connection to another machine running XP Service Pack 2, which is vulnerable to uh, the famous SM SMB uh, 086067 exploit. So I'm using this buffer overflow exploit against Winamp 5.55 version, and I'm creating this malicious script. Now I'm going to embed the script in uh, a custom skin that I'm going to add to Winamp. Now I need to copy a folder over from Windows 7 to Kali. And this is the folder I grabbed from my Windows 7 machine. So now I'm going to rename this folder to Rocket Ship. Let's go grab the file we created through the Metasploit exploit. And let's replace the original file that was in the folder with the malicious version we just created. So our attack is ready. This buffer overflow will spawn a reverse shell to our Kali machine. So here we are on our Windows 7 machine and I'm pasting the rocket ship folder to Winamp in the skins folder. So now we should have a new skin called Rocket Ship. Okay. Good. Now I'm preparing a handler in order to pick up the reverse connection from, Win from Windows 7. So, I'm using the familiar meter for the reverse TCP shell. And I'm setting up the relevant options. Here I need to change the IP address because in the meantime, my kind of machine received a different IP address. So, if I don't make this adjustment, I won't be able to receive the reverse connection from the victim machine. So now we're ready to exploit the machine and all we need to do is run Winamp with this custom skin which will cause Winamp to crash and we're gonna leverage a buffer overflow. I need to click finish here and wait for the exploit to be successful. You see that Winamp crashes, that's what we wanted. On the other end, we have a interpreter session. I'm going to migrate to a more stable process because when I'm crashed, so if it keeps crashing, we might lose our session. And here we have information about our victim machine. You know, this is a Windows 7 machine that I use for Georgia Whiteman's class. If you run the script, you can get the local subnets on the victim machine, and you see that there are two subnets one of which is internal to the Windows 7 machine so we can access the machine from Kali. Nonetheless, we can add the manual route through this interpreter script. There's a interpreter functionality by never being able to make it work. If we view the routes, you see that there's a manual route 
that exists through session three in Interpreter. So let's now perform a port scanning on the XP machine that runs on the same network as Windows 7 on an internal subnet. by using an auxiliary module. It's pretty much like a map, but it's much more limited and slower. And that it doesn't have all the scripting functionalities, of course. We know this is a series of open ports. I already know this XP machine is vulnerable to this exploit related to SMB. So I'm going to use this to attack and compromise our Windows XP machine that we can't reach from Kali. But I'm going to use Windows 7 for this purpose. There's nothing to change in terms of options here. We only have to set up a bind TCP payload, not a reverse one, because with a reverse shell, Windows XP couldn't reach anyway Kali. So we can only reach Windows XP through the Windows 7 machine. So. We need to use a bind shell here. So now we're ready to exploit Windows XP and something went wrong as well. I know the quitter and persistence and determination is key. And so I go again and here we have a meter per session. You notice that we're on Windows XP now. Let's start now capturing keystrokes, but in order to do that, you need to be connected to the default desktop environment. Because I was on the service desktop and that doesn't allow you to record keystrokes you see that this is not the right desktop we want this one the default so at that point we should be able to capture the keystrokes on the victim machine The reason why I failed and I forgot to start the uh, keylogger on Kali before. And this time we're successful. Now we might dig a little deeper by dropping a window shell uh, to understand what local users are installed on this machine. And we notice that the user we exploited belongs to the local uh, administrators group, which is a good thing. Now we add the relay for port 25,000 and we can access the mini share server on XP so we can grab this important file. So this is all for our pivoting attack. I hope you enjoyed that. Have a good one.